He knew you personally and spent many treasurable moments with you in your shared interests as well as entertaining you. His talents and creativity are beyond norm. We all know that Tucha can dance, and we all know Tucha can sing Indian Bollywood music and song, both in Hmong and in Hindi. He will also entertain you role-playing from his skit of the orphan boy. The old one lady with the basket, Senator Hoffman remember, and his dyadic raps of Go Mong Boy Go Mong Boy, as well as doing an impersonation of James Brown, Elvis, Michael Jackson, Austin Power, and Paul Revere, and many others. He truly was phenomenal. There was never a dull moment being with Tucha. Tucha was not just a friend or an entertainer. He was a leader of social justice and human rights. When there is injustice, especially toward Hmong Americans, he always stood with head high, calling for our togetherness. Whether it was KQRS, formerly case of police brutality, Dylan Yang defense, Hunter Chabang, Hunter Chaibang of Wisconsin, the inhumane murder of Evie of Milwaukee, the police killing of Shoaling Hub, and hunger strike of Zerchong and Siskiyou County in California and other circumstances. Tudor was our national leader to seek justice for Hmong Americans. I'm honored that he always keep me informed of his activism. Today, Tuja need all of us to stand for him and be strong together. Tuja told me once, he told me once, who would protect him when he's in danger? And he named many of you who are in this room. And sorry, my brother, we weren't there. Your final moment in life must have been painful. Despite our number, I believe he fought back with heroic strength to the very end. You must have called your mother. You must have called God. However, in our own belief, we value the last word of a person. And whether you call for forgiveness, you call for protection of his family, you call for reincarnation, or he cursed his children for their demise. I say the highest ranking among elected officials in this country may that be true and become reality. Do not rest in peace until justice is served, my brother. Come home. Come home, my dear Tutsa John. We'll give you an honorable burial. The hero burial. You were the proudest, kind, the most versatile, talented, enthusiastic Hmong Americans of our time. We will cherish your legacy, your contribution to our communities and our state for many generations to come. There should be a public area named after you, and I will do my part. Today I call our national representative, our 
the U.S. Embassy in Colombia, the State Department, the authority of Colombia, as I have sent all of you my letters, my official letters, to please help us find justice for Dun Zhong, as well as sending his body home. He did not violate any law here nor abroad, but cruel and evil people took advantage of his good career, personality, and kindness as opportunity to cut short of his life. Losing Duza is a big loss to our state of Minnesota and our country, yet it caused greater pain and suffering and remorse and drawback to our small of the smallest people, community of nearly 500,000 Hmong Americans in the United States for losing one of a kind leader. We ask that the perpetrators be caught and held accountable so that two children rest in peace.